We're here at the Latitude Conference. You're right, it's a conference focused on the power of the Latino within the U.S. economy. And joining us is Sol Trujillo, longtime American executive, CEO of many companies in the U.S., but now the founder of the Latino Donor Collaborative and very focused on this issue, making sure that American businesses know how important Latinos are to American business. Good to have you here. Thank you. Good morning. A lot of people might hear the topic of this conference and think identity politics. Tell me why this isn't identity politics dressed up as business. Well, first of all, if, if you look at any business today in the United States, it has significant operations, whether it be an AT&T, whether it be a Walmart, whether it be whoever it might be. Their growth, year-on-year -year sales growth, is now predominantly tied to this population cohort. So it's not about identity politics. I'm just a business guy. I'm not a p political analyst. I'm not anything else. But I always look for where the growth is. And one of the things that we're finding now with a slowing labor force growth rate and an aging baby boomer cohort, we're creating a big hole, just demographically speaking. And the question is, is who's going to fill the greatness, that, that, that upswing that we had with the baby boomers? And the cavalry is already arriving, and they're called this U U.S. Latino population cohort because they're young. They're five out of the seven new labor force workplace entrants, generating $2.13 trillion of GDP as of 2015. So it's all about business, and it's all about the economy. And right now, we're in a hot period. But as we now see the workforce, the labor force slowing, labor force times output, Mm -hmm. is what gives us GDP. GDP sure. mm -hmm. And so as that's slowing, the question is who's replacing it? And, and how do we grow going forward? But tell me this. So when you look at the number of new mortgages, a lot mm -hmm. of the growth related to the Latino market. I'm Latina. I fill out a mortgage the same way as everybody else, don't I? I mean, as a business person, you execute differently how because you have this growing segment or this important population related to your coming growth? Well, that's a great question. And, and the, the simple answer is, is that when you do needs-based segmentation, as a business person, mm -hmm. not as a politician, as a business person, you want to understand what the buying triggers are. You want to know how people are reaching those segments because not everybody buys the same way. And so if you're a Latino, just simple things like a commercial. If you never see somebody that looks like you, you think that business isn't trying to get your business. So you go elsewhere. Yesterday, we had the CEO of Wells Fargo on. And he and their company are very focused on this whole upswing in the opportunity that's, that's out there. And mathematically, it is there. So the question is, is do you want to be a laggard? Do you want to be a leader? Do you want to grow faster than your competitors? And so you, you look at the people that you have on your board, the people that's in your you know, senior management, people that are in the front lines, you look at all that. So it's a combination of many things. It's about strategy. It's about business strategy. There's nothing new. It's like what we learned in the late 70s in business. When there was a study that said women make 70% of all the household purchase decisions. We used to have this guy named Mr. Whipple squeezing the Charmin and commercials. And then there was this aha moment that said, well, why would we have a man doing it rather than a woman? Mm -hmm because they make the purchase decision. In the case of Latinos, U.S. Lati Latinos, the old paradigm was, well, you talk to them over in Spanish language land. But they're now mainstream, and that's what the, the latitude And they mostly speak English, right? Predominantly English. Are, is the Latino population an immigrant population? It, the vast majority of the Latinos in this country are native-born, the vast majority. And yes, we have had a, uh, an upswing in immigration during the 80s and 90s and the first part of the 2000s. But in the recent decade, the biggest immigrants into the United States for the last five or six years have been from the East, from Asia, not from the South. Right. Interesting. Okay. So we all need to understand these things, but it's all about business. Nothing to do with politics. And if you've been a CEO or a CMO or a COO or a CFO, if you don't understand that, you would never pass my test for whether you should be in your job.